We are finally at the season finale of Kinzo Kumado's Dragon Ball Horror Series. Right before Halloween, just at the height of spooky season, we can finally see where the ending of this story is going to take us. But where do we leave off? You see another person that looks identical to you. Run away and hide. Another person is identical to you, 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 you. Run away, hide, hide, hide. The double gangers are now going for Goku's family. As you saw, we have Gine going after Chi Chi, Goten, and Trunks, while Goku is being attacked by many double gangers and is forced to go into Ultra Instinct, which is the most powerful and strongest transformation that he has at his disposal. But what we know of the double gangers is that they are exact copies of the power level of the main being so even though they may have different move sets and they're they're basically different characters from the series because they're double gangers they are identical in power and strength as the main protagonist so goku right now is in a fight for his life he's surrounded by three little mini gokus different variants that are as powerful as him how is he going to deal with this level of strength and can he pull off a w or will he end up exactly like Vegeta did. Let's go ahead and jump into the video and see exactly what the hell is going on. I'm gonna show you guys first part one. There are two parts to this. This is the first part of the finale, Beautiful Family. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so that was one ability that was demonstrated earlier in one of the early Double Ganger videos, and that is that they can turn off their counterpart's transformation. So that's exactly what just happened. The Double Ganger Turtles came in and he turned off Ultra Instinct because obviously Ultra Instinct is going to be so much stronger, at least in ability. Even though they're around the same level of strength, their ability of Ultra Instinct is going to be so much better. So he turned it off in order to connect with an attack against Goku. As you guys saw, he basically slashed right across his chest, which is really, really brutal for of an attack. It actually is really smart that he did something like this because he turned off the one thing that would have prevented this attack connecting, and that is Ultra Instinct instantaneous dodging. Let's look at the Turtles double ganger just for a second. This design is pretty good. I think that he looks more like a goblin-esque than anything else. So it's really only his face that is changed. But this is an obvious double ganger for Goku. We all know, we've all seen it. He is one of the Goku clubs. So I'm glad that he they included him here. If anybody has the most amount of double gangers, it's absolutely Goku. Now these double gangers are just sick. We have little Goku, we have Junior Goku or Goku Junior and Goten. They're as strong as Goku. They match with Goku in levels of strength and now that they can turn off his uh, various forms and abilities like that, he is literally at their mercy but I do like the way that toward the end Goku realized he needed to do something as he's getting his ass whooped like he's literally getting thrown around there and he needs to do something and the only thing he decides to do is like you know what I'm just gonna move the old-fashioned way and he ends up moving out of the way so the two double gangers end up hitting each other and the double gangers hitting each other leaves only one double ganger open which is Goten but Goku is kind of wore out here he doesn't know what's going on he doesn't know about their abilities or strengths he doesn't know what they're doing to him and why he cannot go in these transformations and at this point in time he still has turtles to deal with in the background so yeah Goku is pretty much fucked right now and the double gangers are finally springing their last trap the trap to kill Goku <laughs> So I didn't actually see this coming, just to stop it here for a second, that Goku ended up getting his ass whooped by the little Gokus so badly that Goten actually felt bad for him. He's like, you know what? I'll let you fight somebody your own size, but I didn't expect who would be the one that would come as a double ganger. And the Goku that we have here is obviously Dragon Ball Z, maybe Buu Saga Goku, or maybe even Dragon Ball Super Goku, since we do have everybody else being much older in the Goku family. So yeah, he's probably Dragon Ball Super Goku. So Kinzo Kumado brings out the one double ganger that is not really a double ganger, but a version of Goku in his past life. This is either DBZ, early DBZ Goku, I think, maybe like Saiyan Saga, or definitely Dragon Ball Goku because of the way that his gi looks, the symbol, his, uh, his belt, everything looks like it's that era. And this is probably one of the freakiest ones. He literally looks like Hellraiser and his mouth is just so wide and so strung out. I mean, Goku is in 
dire straits right now if there are any more double gangers past this guy. Look at his arm, some of the teeth are still in there, that's disgusting, I cannot, uh, I can't look, okay, that, that gives me like, oh man, that, that makes me disgusted, that is so nasty, I can't even look at that, that arm like that, with like little holes, Ooh. oh my god, um, yeah, Goku, uh, he did not learn anything from him getting his ass whooped in the beginning of this animation, because he's still using key attacks and key abilities against uh, a being that can turn off his key attacks and key abilities. Now, he didn't do it this time. He actually ended up biting the key blast only for him to get destroyed by it. So, Goku actually has been has managed to kill one double ganger in this entire in this entire video series because it's been a very very long video series and they really don't kill the double gangers a lot sometimes sometimes you make friends with the double gangers you don't even kill them and goku's the first here to kill one of his own double gangers this is a w for goku 110 percent <laughs> Alright, you guys already know my favorite double ganger just entered the chat. We have double ganger Goku Black. I've been waiting for Goku Black to show himself in this series since it started. He is obviously the prime double ganger. This is the ender boss of the double ganger crew. And you can even see that he's got a completely new look. It's just two people that are already double gangers meshed into one makes sense because Goku Black is a culmination of two people but I like his design overall because he just looks really lanky, looks like Slender Man, looks very very creepy and it, the, the hair color is a mixture of not only Goku Black but Super Saiyan Blue. There is no rosé here but I do like the dark elements to the hair color. It makes this version of Goku Black really really unique and Goku is basically done for here because if he can't defeat Goten he sure as shit can defeat Goku Black who can go into that Super Saiyan God element. So Goku is essentially defeated by the double gangers. He's not killed per se but he can't fight anymore. He's completely depleted in strength. He's got little holes in his arm which is disgusting and uh, now he even needs the assistance of the Nimbus to move around. The Nimbus came in clutch and rescued his ass before the Goku Black variant who wants to replace Goku took over his life and his body and destroyed him so the ending I love because it is a huge foreshadow to the only person that has not really gotten the official double ganger experience and that is Gohan he has been mysteriously missing from the entirety of this show and it has been noticeable so I'm excited to see what they're going to be doing with Gohan I can already see the double gangers for Gohan being obviously Beast Gohan um, although those are his various transformations but Yamcha maybe 
Um, I don't know if they're going to just use like smaller versions of, you know, Kid Gohan or something, or they're going to be using, like definitely they're going to be using future Gohan. That's going to be 100% one that they can use. There's just different variations of Gohan that are even in like the, the anime, the heroes, and just the video games and stuff like that. So I can't wait to see what they do with that. Maybe they'll bring a what if Gohan, like a Gohan black what if, that would be really cool. And, uh, and it looks like we're going to go straight for Gohan. So Goku's defeated. This is essentially the ending of this season because Kinzo Kumar is taking a hiatus from this to recharge his battery. So we'll probably see him in a few, in, in a little bit, maybe a few weeks, few months to get the rest of the story and see exactly what happens next, specifically with Gohan, who I'm really excited to see. But that's essentially it, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this. And it's going to be Blackscape signing off. Take care, guys. Subscribe for more content.